hey, if you do not have your materials, pause this video right now and grab your board marker and eraser or a paper and a pencil. So in today's mini lesson, we talked again about equivalent fractions and using our multiplication and division facts to be able to find equivalent fractions. So one way that we talked about that was looking at multiplying when necessary. So when you have a problem like this and you already see that you have one full fraction and it wants you to find an equivalent fraction but you're missing a part, what you have to do is look at what you know. So look side to side. So I have a 6 and a 12 and I know that I need to either multiply or divide. So for this, I ask myself, self, does 6 times anything equal 12? And we should know from our basic facts that, yeah, in fact, 6 times 2 equals 12. And we learned that whatever we do to our denominator, we also have to do to our numerator. So 6 times 2 now equals 4. So this shows us that six or 2 6 is equivalent to 4 12. So moving on, if I have another fraction where I'm trying to find a blank, which in this case is a numerator, I'm looking at what I know, so I see things that are side by side. Now, does 8 times anything equal 4? Well, no, that's not possible because 8 times 1 is the smallest thing we could do, and 8 times 1 equals 8. So now we know that we're going to have to divide. So 8 divided by what equals 4? Well, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So again, whatever I do to the denominator, I also have to do to the numerator. So 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So 4 eighths is equivalent to 2 fourths. So now that we've reviewed those two items, I would like for you to go ahead and get your materials ready. And I would like for you to go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and solve and see what fraction with a 6 as a denominator is equivalent to 1 third. Pause this video and go ahead and solve. Alright, so now that you've gone ahead and solved, we looked at our problem and we first start with multiplication. So 3 times what equals 6? Does 3 times anything equal 6? Yeah, 3 times 2 does. Whatever I do to the denominator, I also have to do to the numerator, so I should have now taken 1 times 2 which equals 2. So 2 6 is equivalent to 1 third. All right, last one for our video review. I have 2 6 and now I have to find an equivalent fraction that has a 3 as a denominator. So go ahead and pause this video and solve. Okay, now that we have solved our problem, first we start with multiplication. Does 6 times anything equal 3? No, so now I have to move on to division. So 6 divided by what equals 3? 6 divided by 2. Whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So 2 6 is equivalent to 1 third. Look what we did here. Isn't that the exact same thing but backwards? Make sure that you showed your work on your board or on your paper. Good luck on your exit ticket.